Hello, in this video we're going to look at two firms where one of the firms creates a positive externality in production. So consider two competitive firms. The first firm produces and sells honey at a cost given by the following, where H is just the quantity of honey. The firm sells honey at a price of four dollars. Firm two is an apple orchard that produces and sells apples at a given cost given by the following where A is just a units or quantity of apples. And you'll also notice in this cost function this minus 0 0.5 H. So when there's more honey production it actually reduces the cost of producing apples. So that's implying there's a positive externality associated with honey production. Uh, having bees that produce honey helps pollinate the apple orchard reducing the cost of producing apples. Apples can be sold at five dollars per unit. What we want to do is find the efficient level of output of honey and apples. So the efficient level will take into account this positive externality associated with honey production. The way we can find this is assuming that both of these firms will merge and then maximize uh, joint profit. So joint profit of the merged firms will be total revenue from honey plus total revenue from apples minus the cost of honey, minus the cost of apples. So let's set up this equation. So setting up that profit equation, we have the total revenue of honey, the price of honey times units of honey, and then we have total revenue of apples. The price of apples is $5 times the quantity of apples. Again, the prices were given in the first slide. We're subtracting out the total cost of honey and we're subtracting out the total cost of apples. Our first step is to take a partial derivative of the profit function with respect to H or honey. Doing that, uh, the, the partial derivative of 4H is 4. Uh, on this H squared term, we're going to bring down the 2H in front and then 2 minus 1 in the exponent le just leaves H raised to the power of 1. And then finally, this minus uh, times minus gives us a 0.5 H and the derivative of 0.5 H is just 0.5. Setting that result equal to 0. Let's go ahead now and solve this for H. So 4 plus 0.5 is 4.5. 2 divided by 100 just leaves us 50 here and then just moving this over to the right hand side. We have this result multiplying through by 50. The efficient level of honey production is 225. Returning to this profit function of the two merged firms, we're going to take another partial derivative, but this time with respect to apple production. So the derivative here of 5a is 5. Uh, the derivative of a squared over 100 is just 2a over 100 and we're going to treat this h as a constant so that just drops out uh, as a zero. Solving for a, 2 divided by 100 is just 50 and moving some things around a equals 250. So this is the efficient output of honey and apples. We can compare this to the competitive outcome. Uh, the competitive outcome each firm would maximize profits separately so the profit of the honey producer is total revenue minus total cost. Taking the derivative of that with respect to H, we get this result. Simplifying, honey production here, notice is a little bit lower. It's going to be 200. So in this case, you're not taking into account the fact that when you produce honey, you're reducing the cost of the apple producer. Uh, whereas the merge firm, the merge firms would consider that uh, when you're maximizing joint profit. And then finally, uh, the looking at the profit for the apple producer separately and taking the derivative of that with respect to apples, setting the derivative equal to zero, uh, the profit maximizing level of apples here would be 250 in this problem. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.